Hey, it's Mike here from Chill Tech. Remember that time I said I was going to do the Alienware Alpha review about two months ago? Hey, uh, we'll be doing a full review. We'll put a link to that later. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Well, it's time. So this is the Alienware Alpha review. In this review, we're going to be going over four major points. We're going to be going over performance, productivity, gaming capability, and price point. When I did the original Alienware unboxing video, I don't think I exactly went over the specs with you guys, and I feel as though I need to now. So what I have inside my personal Alienware Alpha is a fourth generation Intel i7 core processor. I have 8 gigabytes of RAM already installed that is has also can be upgraded to 16 gigabytes. I have a 2 terabyte hard drive, also can be upgraded to anything else you guys might want. You can put a 3 terabyte, 4 terabyte hard drive if you so choose. Uh, we also have a custom built NVIDIA 860 GPU. Why is it custom built? It was custom built for the Alienware Alpha to run 1080p games at 60 frames per second. Earlier, I told you guys that this is running on a fourth generation Intel i7 core processor. That means that this thing is crazy fast. No matter what I do to this machine, it is able to run it smoothly. I can open up Battle.net here, which is where I see a lot of my uh, uh, Blizzard games, uh, like Diablo, Starcraft, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm. While I do that, I can also have that running in the background while I decide to watch a YouTube video. And along with that, maybe I want to start going to, you know, a tech website, IGN, check up on some of my news. And even while I have that running, let's start watching a movie. Let's look at Clone Wars. I'm able to run this movie. I'm able to still run a YouTube video. It's pretty crazy with no lag at all. As you can see right now, everything's running smoothly. Movie's playing, seems fine. Now when you're talking about speed and performance, you can't really go into that too much detail without going over productivity. Now let's start looking at what uh, this thing can do. The Alienware Alpha Share Power combined with the Windows 10 update means I can run multiple programs at the same time and ha have any lag at all. It's quite amazing. I can open up Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and Google Chrome all at the same time. And it it's amazing how great this system will still run, having multiple programs. I can actually get some homework done while checking on news or watching a video on YouTube. And you know, I can start doing business. I can do a business PowerPoint for work or work on this personal spreadsheet for budgets at home. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I can get multiple stuff done all at the same time. And since it's 2015, you, everyone wants to look for that productivity in a computer. That's what we all care about. How many things can we do all at once? All right, we've talked about performance, we've talked about productivity, but let's get to the real meat of this review. Everyone is really concerned about the gaming aspect and what you're able to play. Now, I remember reading a comment on our Alienware Alpha unboxing that someone wanted to know if you could run a MOBA such as Dota. And right now you guys can see me playing Heroes of the Storm at its highest possible settings. It's running 1080p with an average of about 80 frames per second. Um, it goes down as low as 60 and as high as 90. Uh, it, and it's just looking beautiful. Uh, this basically just showcases what that custom built NVIDIA graphics card can actually do. Um, I don't know if... All, I know this isn't the best graphics card out there, but for the Alienware Alpha, it works pretty good. So you've seen MOBA gameplay, but I just want to let you guys know, so far it has played every game I've thrown at it. It's played Batman Arkham games, uh, Call of Duty, and especially really demanding games such as Rocket League. Uh, we were a we're pretty sure you guys have seen us streaming this game constantly. It's an amazing game, and it is very demanding. It's online gameplay. Uh, it's 
supports up to eight players at a time, so I've never been kicked out of a server yet. It just runs seamlessly. I, same as the, when I played the MOBA, it gets 1080p and about 80 frames per second usually. It just runs beautifully. Now, another aspect of the gaming I want to get into is the actual gaming interface with the Alienware Alpha. That is the one minus I have against this. The Alienware Alpha's gaming interface is not the best. It tries to act like a PS4 or an Xbox, but it just doesn't handle it. It, 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 it. It's slow. It's very slow load up time when you turn on your computer. So I want to make sure you, when you guys get this, you want to use desktop mode more so than the gaming console mode. When you get it, you just... Uh, this is from a personal point. I don't think you guys will like it. If you do to each their own. It's just a very difficult interface to get used to, and it's difficult to get to the internet. It's just, it's not ready yet. Uh, Alienware may do updates for later releases of uh, their newer uh, Alienware uh, gaming PCs, but as of right now, that is something that they need to work on desperately. So we've gone over performance, gaming, and productivity. Let's look at price point. I purchased the Alienware Alpha for $730. Now, an actual custom build Intel PC running with the i7 could cost you up to a thousand dollars. This is a bit cheaper. Yes, yes it is. But for the price point and what I actually, the performance I'm getting out of it, I thought it was pretty acceptable. There are other models other than the i7 for the Alienware Alpha. There's an i5 and an i3 version. And I think at lowest they cost about 300 to 400 dollars. Uh, that's not bad either. I mean, the price point isn't that bad. This is. I think that price is perfect for anyone who wants to just test the waters out a bit in the PC gaming community. Uh, this The Alienware Alpha I'm learning is basically a gateway to PC gaming. It's for a lot of console gamers that do not know about, to don't know much about PC gaming. And I think it's perfect. The price point is good. It's pretty, it's very affordable, especially for an i7 model being 730 bucks. I think that's pretty good. Um, now so let's go over some personal things I found. I can't tell you guys all the good. I know I keep telling you all the good. It's time to go for the bad. Now, I re uh, with the Alienware Alpha, it came with a controller. Uh, I have found that this controller works functions more as a mouse than an actual gaming controller, and I found myself just plugging in my Xbox One controller, and that works better than the Alienware Alpha Xbox 360 controller. I don't know if that's just my model, but let me know if you have one and you were able to get the Xbox 360 controller to work. I would love to know how to make that happen. Anyone who's had an Alienware, uh, any Alienware laptop before knows about the incredibly long loading times it takes to start up. Then you will experience that. Uh, when I, I actually started with the console mode one time and now it permanently starts up in console mode So now I have to make sure I reset my whole all that whole system where it loads for the to the desktop instead And it'll slow up. I mean it'll start freeing up some time on the loading times running on when it starts up and goes straight to the console mode It takes about I want to say two to three minutes to load up to me That's a bit slow for a gaming computer. I've seen other computers load up in half that time so uh, originally when I bought it and just opened up straight to desktop mode, it was usually able to start up in half that time. So I need to take the console mode completely off there. I haven't had fun playing with the console mode. I don't know if you guys have. Again, if you have an Alienware Alpha and you like the console mode and maybe you can give me some pointers on how to actually make it work, I would love to know how to do that. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Now performance, I'm going to give this a solid B+. I mean, it runs exactly how I want it to run. I think it runs smooth. You guys let me know otherwise, if you guys have one. Also, productivity, I haven't had any real problems with it, so I'm gonna give that a solid B+. It's not completely perfect. I've seen regular uh, towers work a lot faster and maybe I'm gonna work more programs at the same time. So, I'm just gonna give that a solid B+. Gaming-wise, I'm gonna have to give this an A. Uh, it, it's done. At any game I throw at this thing, it runs smooth. I, I haven't had a problem with it. So, as long as you're not using console mode, like I said earlier, gaming is an A. With the console mode, I'll give the gaming a B, just for the console mode <laughs> completely. Uh, price point, I have to give this a solid A. For $730 and the PC I actually got, I'm happy with it. I, I can't say much else. I think it's very affordable. It's definitely for someone who wants to have a gaming PC but doesn't want to spend $1,000. You guys might say, well, why not just spend an extra, uh, a couple hundred bucks just to get a, a nice end gaming PC? Well, like I said earlier, 
This is really for people who want to literally submerge themselves in PC gaming but aren't ready to make that full commitment yet. I think Dell has given us a solid product. It is not the console killer we were promised, but it's a pretty good product, man. I mean, productivity-wise, performance-wise, and gaming-wise, I think it's a really great PC. It's not for everybody, though. It's only for people who want to take a little dip into the PC gaming pool. Just a little, take a little foot and take a little dip. It's not for everybody. I'm not going to say, I know a lot of you guys in the comments were knocking it, saying I'd rather just get an actual custom-built PC, and I agree. This is not for everybody, to each their own. Personally, I think this is great. I think we're gonna get another couple for the studio. They work good for editing and gaming. So hopefully they work for you guys. If you choose to buy it, let me know, and let me know what you guys think of the Alienware Alpha. All right, thank you guys for watching, man. Uh, I know it took a long time for us to get this video, but hey, perfection can take time. Uh, we finally got it out there. Thank you guys for waiting. Um, so how about you guys check out our other content? Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Make sure you comment. Tell me what you guys thought. Uh, also, we want to be on the lookout for our Google On Hub review. I also pre-ordered the Moto X Pure Edition, so we'll be getting that in next week. So hopefully we get to see that. Also, we'll be doing a throwback review of the iPhone 6. So now, because of that iPhone success that's coming out, are they really giving us a new phone or are they not? Let's see. Uh, make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe us. You guys have a good one, all right? Peace. We probably should, even okay. though it'd be a planned blooper. It would be a planned blooper. It would be a bleep of a blooper. I'm gonna act like that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, where did I stop up? I asked him now. Keep that up.